Let's mess up in heaven, then they lose their meaning. Stumbling along the road to redemption, to help the helpless find the dream. He's got it in your... All right, Corky. I worked out every last detail to this plan, and nothing can possibly go wrong. All we have to do is replace that dart in Lenny's display case with this one. Oh, I get it. If Lenny thinks the dart was never poisonous, that'll mean he never saved Jojo's life in the first place. Finally. You want me to replace the dart? No. No, I'll do this myself. I don't want any more accidents. What I'd like you to do is distract Lenny. Can you do that? Yeah. All right. <laughs> What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. I was just, I was, uh, dancing. Music! Hey! You know, I, I just remembered I have a question for you. Oh? What is it? Well, turns out Jojo is your manservant because you saved his life, correct? Most certainly. What if it turned out that this dart was not poisonous? Oh, it most certainly is poisonous. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> yeah, I cannot he just said it was. Corky! All right, this dart is poisonous. I certainly wouldn't want to jam it into my leg, now would I? <laughs> it would be most unwise. <laughs> it would not be wise. Well, why don't I just... <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, if it proves that the start isn't... Oh, boy. Okay, Corky. Corky, <laughs> put down the spider. All right, let's go over the plan one more time. Okay, we go out there, dress like ninja assassins, and we pretend to threaten Lenny's life. Right. Now, Jojo, being Lenny's faithful manservant, will try and defend... So, when we run away, it'll look like Jojo saved Lenny's life. It's a great plan, Kenny. Let's go. Uh, I think you should go home because two assassins might be overdoing it. Duh, of course. Wish me luck. Okay. Ask. Yeah. I think i Yeah. Oh. Oh. neck brace off. Come on, you've only had it on since the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, but it's still uncomfortable. Next time, can I have brain damage? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> name? James Huck. James Huck. I know that name. My, we're unlucky, aren't we, Mr. Huck? <laughs> Broken ribs, collarbone, broken legs, broken arms, and on and on. <laughs> what is it this month? Ah, whiplash. <laughs> <laughs> kind of wimpy for a man who's had a broken back. <laughs> Sorry. Pass that for a second. <laughs> I'm okay. I didn't land hard. Actually, it was a nice little break from the paint. <laughs> Like you never borrowed a cast from your brother. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm the lucky one in the family. Now talk about bad luck. This is my brother. Emery. <laughs> Hi. I'm Emery Huck. Social Security 567-1- 6954. <laughs> you boys have been here so often, you've entered our vocabulary. Here at the office, we refer to paying a fraudulent claim as getting hucked. Well, I tried to ignore it at first, but I can't ignore it any longer. I love to work. Oh, jeez, I'm eating here. <laughs> All I'm saying is that from now on, I'm contributing to society, not stealing from it. Well, there you go again, Johnson. 
always looking at the small picture. <laughs> if you think going to work is for the good of society, you've been misled. The human race almost bit the weenie a bunch of times in history. Wars, the Black Plague, that old disco thing. <laughs> now, who do you think brought mankind back from the brink of extinction? Taxpayers? Men in suits? No. It was the people who knew how to live by their wits. Dedicated survivor types. Like us. <laughs> so you go ahead and keep your little job. <laughs> I will carry the guilt of having to scalp those sun's tickets, and it hurts me. <laughs> but I will carry that burden because I am looking out for the future of the human race. <laughs> good to hear your voice yeah well i get to hear it all the time so it's no big deal for me i miss you i really miss being with you and stuff oh you miss stuff yeah i miss stuff you don't miss stuff oh i miss stuff we could if you if you want you know we could uh talk about stuff we could do that Boy, I hope we're talking about the same thing. What are you wearing? We are. Ah, uh, jeans and a maroonish t-shirt. No, you're not. I knew that. You're wearing your running shorts that your mom washed that are, like, way too short. So, what are you wearing? Huh. So I'm, like, way overdressed. Do you believe in being honest? I believe in saying hello. Deej, I could beat around the bush, I could stall, I could hem and haw. You could just say it. Okay. I think things between us are moving too fast. You probably feel the same way. Like, uh, you need a little room to breathe. I was breathing fine until you started talking like this. Well, it's just, you know, one day we meet. And the next thing you know, boom, we're, we're a couple. So, what are you saying? Boom, we're breaking up? I guess I am. I don't understand. I thought everything was going well, great. It, it's not you. It's, it's me, okay? I just, uh, I need a little space. I'm sorry, Deej. I gotta go. <laughs> Is there anything that I could say to change your mind? Let me say, cause I'm just sitting here wasting away every day living without you. Oh, Viper. Oh, Deej, I miss you so much. I miss you too. <laughs>